His name is God's will and he's been beaten and abandoned, cast out by his own family and society at large, accused of being a witch, no matter that he's a five-year-old boy. The boy said that the woman said that it is witch. He's apparently been here for three days and from what everyone here is saying, his mother abandoned him, accusing him of, of witchcraft. You can see he's got some scars. He even doesn't want me touching him. Sam Igpe Atama believes there are thousands of children like God's will in this region of Nigeria, and he's trying to rescue them. Using a little care and attention, Sam starts the process of trying to restore God's will's trust in the world around him. Um, you can see from here he must have uh, undergone some um, torture. You can see these are all some injuries um, and scars all over his body, meaning that he must have um, passed through some level of high level of torture and traumatization. At his orphanage, Sam cares for more than 200 children who have suffered similar ordeals. A child is said to be a witch, to be possessed with a certain spiritual spell capable of making a child to transform into like cat, snakes, vipers. A child could cause all sorts of havoc like um, killing of people, bringing about diseases, misfortune into the family. Sam believes there is no such thing as witchcraft and is trying to raise awareness in communities now gripped by hysteria. Belief in witchcraft is rooted in centuries of tradition, but it's only in the last 10 years, says Sam, that it's become associated with child abuse. Yeah, it's actually a social crisis because um, uh, poverty is a big factor that actually propel this child witch phenomenon. You know, po poverty is actually a twin sister to ignorance. Children can be accused of witchcraft for almost any reason, maybe seizures, maybe just talking in their sleep. Six-year-old Imabon was blamed by her stepfather for bringing about the death of her mother with black magic. Uh, you can see from his face here the, the scars are, are gradually winning off. Um, one of the pastors who, who claimed that she's responsible for the death of her mother used hot water to bash her face and used matches to cut her finger off as a, a sign to, to show that she is not wanted there. With new cases every week, Sam is simply overwhelmed. I have become uh, sick. Sometimes when I see a child, I cannot take the child to the centre because the centre is already accumulated with a lot of children and you don't have spaces for children. No one knows why God's will was accused of witchcraft. His parents have still not been found. But for now, he and the other children are safe. Christian Purefoy, CNN. Aquibom, Nigeria.